Alrighty, it is 7.30 once again, and this is what we got done today. This piece and that piece. And then of course, placing others in here. Goodness gracious. Uh, I don't know what to say, but my goodness gracious. So time consuming. It took me an hour and 50 minutes to do this seam over here. And I write about the same for this seam over here. Uh, this little bitty pattern just takes so much work to make sure it stays on. But anyway, at least we got my little crane Cha 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 515 which is absolutely super duper awesome. I am so thankful for that thing right now. Um, this is not all we got accomplished today though. Uh, right here, I got every bit of this. All of these are completely stripped now and ready for carpet. Just gotta be vacuumed up. We got all the carpet off of them. Uh, I think about all the carpet. Oh, man, again, I am so glad. Oh, check it out. What the world? Oh, okay. I guess it is. Uh, so this is metal. It's got a metal front. Is that what that is? Yeah. I guess it does right there. It's got a metal front, and that's what they pour it in. Check that out. Okay. Well, oh, cool. All right. First time I looked at these things too close, so... Metal front and concrete steps. That's okay. Um, I've determined what I want to do with this. The glue over the glue that we're using, uh, it is pretty daggum soupy, and it takes it feels like forever to set up so we can actually uh, put our carpet in it because it's just so you don't want to put it in it soupy wet. It just won't do nothing. You gotta wait till it tacks up a little bit. So even with the big fan that I bought. Right over there, it's still taking about uh, probably 45 minutes of air just blowing on it constantly. One fan on one end and my other little fan down here on this end blowing that way. So, uh, my goodness, it just takes forever for that stuff to set up. Anyway, all these are ready. You can see it looks like they used a regular multi purpose and then contact cement right there. I'm not going to do that. I actually placed an order today and had them expedited of a whole bunch of, uh, let's see, a whole bunch of, uh, golly, utility tape. That's it. So, what I'm going to do. Anyways, what I was fixing to say when I was talking about the carpet glue. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. After it tacks up, the stuff does hold real good. So, it is a good glue. It just is. It's a little runnier than I would like. And it takes a while for it to set up, I guess, because it is runnier. So, with that being said, I was thinking about totally putting a different flooring adhesive different glue on these right here but since i am now having good results out of the glue down here like i said it it holds beast mode whenever it gets tacky it holds really well so i'm okay with it but anyway i am going to i'll spread the tops of these with that and i'll let it get nice and tacky drop my carpet off in it and I'm gonna put me a row of utility tape, just one row. I'll put me a row of it right along the front of these right here. Uh, you know, there's like four and a half inches is how wide that is. So I'll put a row, ah, uh, dang. I just thought of that I hope that don't affect it. I'm gonna have to do a sample of that. Darn it, I might do that right now actually before I before I leave, because tools for flooring is not able to, I guess that'll be all right with metal. 
Dang it. Hey, Jerry. That white row of seam tape, the sticky stuff, and my cool glide, will you bring it up, please? I want to test this out in any kind of scrap carpet. I'm going to test that out right now before I leave because if it's if something stupid about it with it being uh, metal right there then I'm going to get a hold of tools for flooring first thing Monday morning and have them cancel that order and I will do something else and it was like golly almost 700 bucks for the utility tape to do this with it's like my goodness but anyway, what I was getting at. Mm, 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 mm. Um, all this is done. And we got all the... Oh, yeah, so that's what I was going to do. Put, let it get tacky on top. And let it get nice and stuck. Fold it over and zap it with a cool glide iron if that works nicely. Fixing to find out. Uh, right here and... If that works, that'll just be, won't have to worry about it. Sticking the glue bin tacky enough to hold onto that. I won't have to use contact cement, which I do not want to do here because goodness gracious, as much as contact cement as it would take to do all this right here, it would be smelling in this church forever. Right now, that is a solvent-free glue down there. And right now, I, I smell zero, zero flooring adhesive or anything, I don't have, I, don't, I smell the carpet, I, I guess I do. <laughs> I, I, does anybody smell new carpet or carpet glue or anything? Does anybody smell any kind of glue or anything? Uh, no? Okay, three no's. I guess that glue is like really good like that. Even when I'm opening up the fresh bucket, I don't smell anything. So I'd like to keep it that way. Again, if we had to use a whole bunch of contact cement that would be right out the window so uh, running some carpet cove all along up here we are going to do ju -ju 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 all the way down the steps and all that stuff i'm going to be cutting some strips off as a matter of fact i need to get on that uh get some get some strips cut up and let him get them bound the man i'm the contractor i'm doing the job for We'll have them done. I don't know if he does them. I think he sends them somewhere. Oh, that gun it. <laughs> Boy, I be, I, those things right there have been so problematic. I actually stepped on one earlier, and it went all the way through my shoe, through the insole of my shoe, and I thought it went in my foot. It scared me to death. It hurt like crap. But anyway, we got all this stuff done. And, um, yeah. Uh, the way it's going down here is probably going to be, honestly, Monday and Tuesday. Um, getting the rest of that sanctuary done, which I, I was wanting to get it done today. From my original plan, I was going to, attempting to get this done on the first week here. But the first week here, I was out on Monday. And then the next day, Jerry was up, so we was a little shorthanded two days of those days. So, uh, anyway, it is what it is, I guess. Ain't nothing perfect, but everything's going together nice, and it's turning out quite lovely. I'm real happy with the way everything is working, I will say that. I am happy with the glue now. I figured that out. So, those boxes right down there that's on the podium, those are actually steps just like you see right there they go all the way around in front of that from there all this is covered up to there so four foot out um, is covered up with those steps and that is why I chose to do that seam right up there where I did anyway look at that that gun thing freaking huge snake right there it's like 84 foot cut right there it's freaking huge that's what that's like 100 and oh, that gum 80 and 80 that's 160 feet of seam prep and all that stuff just takes time man god it probably takes an hour to get them ready two hours to 
put them together an hour for letting the glue dry. So you're looking at four hours wrapped up in each seam. And that's realistically, that's where the time goes. And then the, so that's a, that's eight hours out of the 12 and the other four hours. And it took probably 30, 30 minutes to eat lunch or whatever. Then uh, during the other time, just getting stuff in here lined up. Those pegs are daggum a nightmare to work around. We've been putting the cobs. See, did you notice over there? We got carpet cobs. See right there? Right beside that over there. What we've been doing, we lay them cobs. Now that we got some right out by the dowels, you see right there? So that carpet cob is right up against those dowels that are coming out of the floor. So, uh, the carpet will fold over that and not puncture holes or anything like that in the carpet. So we've been taking full advantage of those carpet cobs right there. Anyway, cock a doo doo, -doo. We are, oh, I'm gonna test out this cool glide real quick and I'll know how that's gonna work. Okay, so I just used that on high right here. Obviously, I didn't rub it or anything like that. I was just wanting to see if it was going to arc off, burn, snap, pop, or anything because of this bent metal. Absolutely had zero issues with it. Didn't do anything any different than what it normally does. Watch this. I'll keep this running. I'll do it again. It's cooled off enough there now, so that way you can see it. Right here, right there. Let's see here. <laughs> Hit the power button, thing is going right there. Everything's going on just fine. No cracking, popping, snapping, burning, anything like that. So, happy for that. That's twice. Look at that stuff, it's soupy. Woo! All right. No burning on the carpet. You see the carpet glue right there. I mean the glue. Everything there looks good. Okay. I was actually a little concerned about that. So good. That's the plan then. I'm going to full spread the top of these. Put utility tape right on the front of that. Just one right on the front of that. And uh, I don't know. I might put a little... Uh, just flat trowel, some glue on the back of that piece of carpet or something below the tape. I don't know, just something so maybe it'll stick down there. I ain't got to be too crazy because the utility tape is going to keep it pointed straight down. I'll probably get this here, have a carpet kicker pushed down and melt it right here to the front. Is the plan on that. So, anyway, we are going to get out of here. And we're not working this weekend. We will be back Monday after, oh, Monday morning, not Monday afternoon, nothing. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to The Daily Grind. And until Monday, FBSB's out.